So one thing that I loved about um, just being in the Bethlehem area school district was after my first two years when I went to Bethlehem Catholic and then I transferred over to Liberty High School, um, I was just amazed at how like diverse and how many like opportunities there were and like all the awesome teachers and also the size of the school. It's just like scared me so much, you know, but I, I really loved it. And um, something that really helped me, I think, was just like the involvement that like all your teachers had with like the other things going on. Like it felt like this huge place, but then, you know, I'd see some teachers and they would say like, Hey, how was that? Uh, how was that volleyball game that you guys were in last night? I'd be like, how'd you know I was on the volleyball team? So it felt like, you know, it was this huge thing, but it felt kind of small. Well, another nice thing, and this was something that they had at, at Liberty, which I really loved was um, they would bring in army recruiters and, um, you know, part, part ways they were looking for, you know, people to commission or I'm sorry, just enlist right into the army after you finished high school. And, you know, they would put a polar bar outside and, you know, on nice days, you'd see people out there. And if you could do 10, they'd give you like a T-shirt or something like that. But that kind of like put it in my mind. And um, believe it or not, I, I knew a couple people that were doing the ROTC route, meaning that they were applying for an ROTC scholarship in high school. And I was thinking to myself, dang, but I didn't know about that until like the end of my senior year. And I'm like, dang, I, I should have done something like that. I should have been on, on the game a little more. So then when I got to college, I really liked it and I was having a lot of fun, but I was thinking like, what if there's more I could do? You know, I wonder if there's a way that I could get involved and like get some leadership and also just get a good workout in every morning at 6 a.m. Not thinking it would be anything long term. So I joined ROTC. Um, I really loved it. I loved getting up in the morning. Um, I loved like the excitement getting yelled at was kind of fun too. Um, and then I just, I really stuck with it. And four years later, I never thought I'd really be in it for all four years, but I, I loved it. And, um, just recently I commissioned as a second Lieutenant. So I'm the lowest officer rank and now, um, I'll serve in the army for eight years, which is really exciting. In the ROTC program, when you commission as a second lieutenant, everyone in my class and everyone in the whole country who's graduating in 2020 and commissioning, which just means becoming an officer, um, you have a decision. You can either go active duty and you commit four years to being full-time army person, um, or you can do eight years of reserves So, or National Guard. So that's what I'm going to do. So my role for the next eight years will be once one weekend a month, I'm going to go to a reserve unit uh, down in Delaware, and I'll be an officer in a small transportation unit. So some of my friends are going to Germany to go be, you know, platoon leaders, and they're going to be leading um, other people that enlisted out of high school or things like that. And they're going to be driving tanks or, or um, you know, firing field artillery and, and doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm super excited about my job, which is, you know, a little bit more laid back, but it gives me the opportunity to, um, like have a civilian job, which is a really cool part of ROTC that, cause I was always really set on going to grad school and I really wanted to get my master's degree in clinical counseling. And it's great because I can, you know, do them together in tandem. And I think they really complement each other. Totally. Uh, that was kind of the, one of the things that I had known kind of throughout my whole college career. Um, I just think that there's a real deficit for professionals that are working for the mental health of high school students specifically. Um, and this is actually something that I would mention Young Life. I got my, my shirt on here. Um, and Young Life was just a, like a leadership organization that they that was available to high school kids. And it was Christian based, but it was great for, for anyone, you know, regardless of your faith or whatever. And I thought it was great because it was a real mentorship and we really talked about kind of the stuff that was going on in our head. And I was able to connect with a, a lot of like actual mental health professionals, you know, if I needed them. And that was a great resource for all my friends and anybody that I knew. But I think, you know, we talk about serving um, the Bethlehem area school district or just the Bethlehem area later on in life. I fully intend to, you know, once I get this degree in clinical counseling to, you know, come back to Bethlehem and to use it. Well, I, I think that one thing that I always think is that um, no matter what you have like going on in your week, like whatever your schedule looks like, it's always going to seem like 
a lot. It's going to seem like maybe just enough or maybe too much. So I think, you know, even if you think to yourself, oh my gosh, if I don't have a college plan, if I don't have a work plan, if I don't have grad school, if I don't have it all figured out and have a really busy schedule, I think that's okay. Because I think that we all kind of find things to take up our schedule. And then we find meaning in that. We find life in that. And whether that's work or whether that's, you know, a part-time job or whether it's going to college undergrad, I don't think you necessarily need to go to college. But um, I think for a lot of people, it, it is the right choice. And that's how they'll fill up their schedule. But I think whatever happens, and especially during all this craziness, um, you know, people find a way to, to, to fill up their schedule. And I think it'll, you know, it, it all kind of works itself out. And I would I just wouldn't want to put any pressure on anybody to, to do one thing or the other. Because, I mean, you're going to be, you're going to find life no matter what. All right. Thanks so much for having me on and just totally wishing all the best to everyone in the BASD.